Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this little chit chat here with Isaiah. Uh, he was going to demonstrate some stuff to me and we said, hey, let, let's record it to share it with everybody. So Isaiah, yeah. take, take it away. Hi. Um, hi. Well, I, I'm going to just go ahead and try to explain really simply what is going on and how that might help. Now, uh, sometimes, especially if you're automating stuff, you might find, especially if you're uh, automating uh, pages that are from certain companies that they don't really want you to automate stuff, um, they would make it really hard for you. And sometimes you, would, you might find something like this. So in this case, what I want to automate is to save this for later. That's the only thing that I want to do. Now, I want to save that thing. Usually, if you have uh, a little bit of knowledge with uh, the, the, the DOM, the uh, document object model document. for the web, right? Um, you might know that you can actually access some things and you might be familiar already with the... Um, uh, here, the console here to see the elements and you can just inspect an element and you can get some information about it and so on. But you might find that they actually make it really hard for you to do some things. So for example, they do not want you to access this menu. So as you can see, when I click on this menu, some things change because they're dynamically created. And I want to actually take a look at that save button because that's the one that I am interested in. But you might see that it turned purple and then disappeared. And the menu actually disappeared as well. Now let's click again. And you see that this class actually shows up in there, right? But as soon as the browser loses focus, um, you lose that class. So for example, I want to know the ID of that save button, right? Now, if I click here, what happens is that it just goes away. Now, how can you, what, what can you do in that situation? Like, what do you do there? Um, and there's some things that I, if you have used with debuggers before, you might right away get the idea. And this is actually very fairly common to do in a debugger. And what I would do is just kind of like break here because I know that I get some breaks and they allow me to do some breaks. And one of them is the subtree modifications. So what I'm going to do is that as soon as this particular element gets a modification in its subtree, I want the, the debugger to stop my program and don't do anything else, right? Now, if I do that, when I click on this, now the now automatically hey, this hey, is this. Can I interrupt you? Can I interrupt you just for one second? Right. Just to clarify something, because you said stop your program. It's it's actually stopping the website, right? The, yeah. The, the loading. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, just to so, make sure, because it's yeah. Well, the program in this case would be the app that is loaded on the web browser, right? So uh, that's I'm fine. sorry yeah, if I... that's a little bit kind of confusing when I said your program. It's actually the no, program it's... that's running on the website right now. Right. Um, yep. Now, as you might have noticed, the screen jumped to the sources here instead of the elements page. And here in the sources, I can see the actual source code of the app. Um, the only thing is that it is completely obfuscated. You will not understand this thing. And you notice that nothing happened. Right now, everything is paused. Now, this is where the debugger comes in. You can actually step through each of the pages. You can see step by step what the page is actually doing. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them because there's a lot of them. What I would do, because I'm not interested in any of those right now, I just want to go back to my element and remove the break because I don't want to keep... Uh, breaking every time there are some modification there. I just want to wait for the element to show up. I go back to my sources, press play. Now that my menu showed up, I don't want it to lose focus, right? So I just go ahead and pause my script here. Now my script is paused in a situation in which the menu is shown. Now I can just go ahead and click whatever I want and the element is going to stay there because actually that's <laughs> that's the part that I was actually looking for. And um, you will be able to actually access whatever the um, this particular menu is. And as you can see now, I'm able to see what that particular um, option is. Um, I know that it has a class that I'm actually interested in. And later on, you can see a little bit more down probably what the text that it holds and everything, that's the icon. Actually, I don't care about that. But here's the text that actually has the save. So I know that this particular item is the one that I want to target. Now I have my class name um, and what it belongs to because I'm actually kind of like waiting for this. 
and in my automation program, then I know what I'm looking for. There is no other way to get this kind of information if you do not pause the sources, because as it is dynamically created and deleted, as soon as you move the focus away from the web browser, then you you have nothing, right? <laughs> so this you know this what was, it's yeah. a it's an interesting thing because it's it's a, and I forget it. What does it fall into? Uh, not metaphysics, but um, what is it? There's this premise in in uh, and I forget it if it's it's physics maybe that you can't actually take a reading of something without interacting with that. The second you try to take a reading of something, you are actually changing the thing that you're right. taking the reading of. Right? Basically, and it, yeah. And actually, that's actually what happened. In yeah. this case, uh, it's and, and something, something very similar. Yeah. Yeah. What I what I was going to say was to clarify earlier when we first started. It made it, and this wasn't anything you did, right? But when no, you no. when you start thinking about it, you're like, oh, I I can't access. It's a, a problem. I can't access it. That's not the problem. The problem is you can't access it. The problem is it it appears and disappears in a way that you can't, like you said, freeze it and really look at what was there or interact with it and pro probe around while it's there because the the interacting with it actually makes it disappear. Right? Yeah, exactly. So so actually, I was going to ask you was. And, and it doesn't make any sense, right? But it, it's almost like you want a a video recording of your DOM, right? But is, and that's not a thing. Like you know, you could watch the structure build and disappear. Because, right? I mean, I know I'm at what I'm saying is sounds crazy, right? Because <laughs> it it wouldn't be a file, right? How would you do that? Um, but but that would alleviate this as well, right? It's right. It's being able to see that's... that in the middle part. What what was that? Right, exactly. So basically, anytime you, you want to take a look at how a web page actually works, and if there's something that it is kind of dynamic, which most of the pages at the moment are completely dynamic, no. then Let something that might this, help help with sorry, would be like just pausing the program. Well, on, it, it, on your network, on right, your so, network tab, if if you were to click this, you know, right. does your network tab, is that, do we actually see the, the HTML the coming back and forth when you interact with that button? Yeah, that's, that would be the traffic, yeah. Whatever yeah. whatever traffic so, I'm actually sending and receiving from that web page, um, right. I should be able to see it here. So it'd be kind of a pain because we don't know where it fits in, right? Uh, it, it, that it, would be hard to tell. Right. The, 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 the problem in here would be identifying when uh, this uh, event happened. But yeah. there's another thing. Usually those kind of events you already have the text or the source file that contains uh, that event. So okay. it's not going to be sent yeah, every gotcha. time you clicked it, right? right. It's triggering so, it, but it's one, right. one local. Yeah, I get you. Right. It's already, it is already on your computer, whatever is happening um, right. for performance reasons. Um, and But basically, in this particular case, what you would do is just try to pause the execution of your script. In the, in, in the state that you actually want it at that moment, especially when they are actually adding and removing elements um, in a way that is very like dynamic and stuff, then the best way is just to add a break, either when the subtree is modified, when the attribute is modified, or when you're gonna remove that node. This particular node, if you remove it, if it is Ooh, deleted, you can actually break whenever it's gonna be deleted, right? Um, so it'll break before it gets removed or, or right after? I, I actually think it's when it is requested to be removed. So you, you can, you, it is going to break before you look at it disappear because it's going to be cool. whenever you get the request yeah. to be removed in this case. So in this case, you know, this is kind of like those little details that make your, lot of, your life a little bit no. better. And sometimes if you don't know them, you spend a lot of time trying to figure out, okay, how do I get that information? And you look for it anywhere and, and, and you're like, how, how do I do that, right? Then yeah, this little right. this little trick might help you out in there. Awesome, well, thanks, man. That was very awesome. interesting. Bye. Great. Hey, thanks for watching that. And I forgot to mention, if you have ideas of something you want us to cover, add a comment to this video mentioning it and hopefully we can cover it here in the future. Um, I learn best when I'm working with someone, especially someone who knows what they're doing like Isaiah's, and uh, troubleshooting and working on something, you can just learn really great things. So if you have a topic that you're trying to learn on, uh, and especially like a given website or whatever, web page or you know whatever it is, uh, give us an example, comment below. Um, also, don't forget to 
don't forget to like um, this video. It helps us and subscribe. Cheers.